Okay, we're back. Um, moved you over here a little bit because it's uh, the sun moved, so it was starting to get hard to see. I, uh, this is the rotor after I cut it. Uh, just cleaned it up, cleaned the dirt off of it a little bit. And maybe we can use this on some other projects. Um, I marked the front of it where I want the front um, because this is a pattern. So I want where I want the front. Um, and this is just the way I want the compressor so that the um, so that when I roll this up, this will be the back. So when I roll this up and I mount this, uh, the low side is going to be my left. That's just how I like to work. This we're probably going to wind up curving down since the recovery bottle is going to be underneath and the hose is going to be up front. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. For now, I thought um, rather than get too involved with this and drill it and tap it, I'd just try to see if I could um, just kind of sandwich this with a couple washers and a bolt. Um, we'll just see how this works. I, I do, if this is the front, I do want this pretty much right to the side and I want to get this centered on here and that's pretty good. With these slots, this might make it a little bit easier to uh, kind of get a washer up in here. Yeah, I think this is going to work pretty well. Get a washer up in here. And uh, with three of these, even though they're not going to be straight, with three of these, I should hold it. Uh, I should pinch it nicely and hold it to this rotor. So we'll just hand tight there. And then we'll move it to the next one. Actually, I did want to put a little lock tight on that, so I'll get that in a second. warp a little bit this rotor from all that heat not enough to uh, make a difference there so I think we're good there um, my marks in the front compressors nice and tight um, yeah these bolts we might run up from the bottom but I will see and we'll be back to get that bottle mounted that's our plan on the orientation um, it's not my favorite I'd love the valves to be out the back but it just it just won't fit like that um, sticks way too far out the front, so we'll just have to be careful wheeling around, but with this I, I think we'll be okay. Um, probably going to try to use some strap to, to, to mount it. Um, I'm going to go see if I have some metal strap, and if not, we'll, uh, we'll figure out something else. Um, let me do that, and I'll be right back with you. Turns out our bottle doesn't clear the bottom of the compressor. Let's see lifting that up. So what I think we're going to have to do is flip this plate over. Hope that gives us enough clearance and just put a couple spacers. We might not even need any spacers. The alternative would be to spacer this up. But I'd like to uh, have this flat on there if I can. We'll, uh, we'll give that a try. We'll be back. Okay, we got that unbolted. We're just going to flip this over. Some washers on one of these. I thought it doesn't present too badly, does it? Okay. It doesn't really matter which orientation it's in. I'm just using the box and come off it.
Okay, um, I think what I've decided is I, I have a bunch of these laying around. They're old drawer slides, or actually new drawer slides, just never got used. I've had them around for forever. I put a little bend in this one. What I think I'm going to do is, is slide this under. Um, maybe you can see it better from the other side. I'll slide it under, and I'll, I'll put a tap, self-tapping screw in there, or if I have to, I'll draw all the way through and put it on the bolt. I'll cut this side off and grind it smooth, and I'll put another one here. This should be our front support. I'm going to put a couple uh, heavy nylon ties here, um, and then we'll work on the back. And uh, let me do the front, and we'll be back. While I got you here, I'll uh, show you this, this little saw I picked up. Um, I guess a couple years back now. It's a uh, Trajan 700. Um, cuts metal, great. Uh, the metal, um, you know, it, it doesn't cut with a with a uh, abrasive blade. It cuts with a uh, carbide blade. Um, and the the cut, the metal that gets cut, it really is cool to the touch after you're done cutting it. It um, puts all the all the heat into the chips. Um, it was I got it on sale. Uh, a couple of Christmases ago. I don't think it was, I think it was about $150 now with inflation. I don't know what this would be, but uh, it comes with two blades. And um, I haven't gone through the first blade yet. And you can, uh, I've even cut some hardened like bed frame stuff for a couple of projects. And you know, that stuff is, is pretty hard and this cut through it without a problem. And it still cuts really well. Let me, uh, let me show you this cut real quick and, and uh, we'll go from there. Turn this a little bit. Just about where we want it. It's kind of nice. It's got this quick release, so you can get it close, and then uh, and then do your fine tightening. So uh, yeah. I'll show you this cut. It's uh, as you can see, it's really nice and clean. It's cold to the touch. Um, yeah, you almost don't need to to do anything with that. It doesn't have any sharp edges on it, hardly at all. I will take it and to the grinder and grind that off a little bit, but um, yeah, that's a great little saw. Okay, we're back. Um, I just slid this in here. I ground it off on the other side. I slid it in and. Uh, you can see the grinder started to burn the paint, but the, the saw never did. Um, so yeah, let me just put this in here. We know where pretty much this hole is going to be. Let me mark a spot here where I can draw a hole. And um, we'll start with that. Okay, we're back. I, uh, I did manage to get a hole drilled in the end of that. So we're going to put a pilot hole in the, in the frame here, so our machine screw has a little bit easier time of it. If, uh, if that doesn't feel like it's going to hold, we'll drill all the way through it and put a, uh, put a nut and a bolt in it, but we'll see how this goes first. Let's see if we can, since we can still move the tank a little bit, I think I'm going to try to shove it out of the way. Give this screw the best chance of being straight. Just move that up. Probably want to get a little longer screw than that, but let's see how this goes. Here's the bite man. Let me see if I got a bite man I'll screw. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to well, let's see. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, oh yeah, that's in there. Okay, we're going to go around the other side and drill that hole. Um, let's see if I can bring you with me. There we go. Let's see what we can do. This tank over here. I think we can. I really don't want to do that too much because that's what's holding it up. Um, let me see how I can do with this. Hole. See if we can get that in there. 
Well, it's really not going to be straight. But we'll do the best we can. Okay, we're back. Oh, the next size up screw. I don't know if we can get this in or not. open that hole up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if I got that on camera or not. That's all we did and we thought it was time to break out our, our red helix and, and break these as well. So uh, we did we did pretty well though we didn't we didn't break anything. The packaging is is uh, is pretty good on these. Pretty good amount. Okay. We'll be right back and decide what to do with the back of this. Okay, I'm going to bring you back here. Um, you can see what we got going on in the back here. I think for now, I'm just going to make sure the front's where I want it. It kind of is. And we'll just, um, now I think what we're going to do is we're just going to put a couple of nylon ties in here just to hold it in place while we decide what's going on, what we're going to do. It looks reasonably centered. Yeah, I think so. Because this is going to get heavier as we fill it. Hoping it actually holds pressure. It wasn't such great on the vacuum test last night. But uh, like I said, we'll get a little refrigerant in it and we'll leak test those front connections. And uh, when we find out we'll leak, they're leaking, we'll have to figure out something else to do. But I think for now, that'll be fine. That's really solid, actually. Uh, we'll put another wire tie on the front of this. Um, Geez, that might actually be okay if I put a couple more ties on it. It doesn't want to move at all. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to double tie that in the back, and we're going to put a tie on that cross brace in the front. Bring it around here. We're going to put a, uh, a tie right there on that front brace, and we'll see, um, see how that goes. I think that's going to, I think that's going to work. Okay, this is the only hole that's uh, going to give us trouble. Um, uh, what we did was we just went ahead and cut those wire ties so we can drop this down a little bit. It's actually uh, almost enough for me to get it in, but not quite. So this way it's no problem. Once we do this, pick the bottle back up, wire tie it in that bolt. We won't lose that bolt. So um, maybe those wire ties will stay there for the duration. I'm going to drop this on. We'll see how this looks.
And uh, we do have air tools here. I just wanted to avoid the noise. I did turn off the compressor, so it shouldn't be coming on on us. There should be plenty to tighten it up. That's the other thing, a Loctite blue always comes in a red tube, um, and they make red Loctite that's permanent. Um, and that's always been confusing to me as well. Not sure why they did that. And there we go. I think everything's tight. wipe it all down, bring it back, and now it's time to do the wiring, um, which I don't know if we're going to do today, but uh, but we're close, we're really close. Another thing I wanted to use this metal for is, um, you know, making sure a metal stand, I didn't make it out of wood, um, was our cap, you know, I want that grounded, I, I want to put a little, find a little strap for that, um, make sure the cap's grounded, make sure the pump's grounded, and we'll, we'll ground our line cord, everything will be, uh, Everything will be uh, nice and safe, uh, except for this bottle, this no-name bottle. Well, it's a V-War bottle. It's not that it has no name. It has a name. I just, hopefully it's, um, hopefully it's going to be okay. But that's, that's the one part that I'm a little bit unsure of. Okay, we'll see you a little later.